Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do workers comp adjustments. Now, I have pulled my report by uh, workers comp by code by employee, and this is the correct premium. Um, I have already submitted uh, to my workers comp company the payroll and I adjusted my, um, my rate for each uh, code according to what they had. I had originally done it by, with experience modification, but I'm, I'm just going to do net, uh, net rate. And I think that's the easiest way to do it, to do it by net rate. So after I went, um, and updated my workers comp rate, rate under list, um, I pulled the report and this is correct. However, when I went to go and look at the liability and what I owed, it was way off. So I need to adjust that. And let me show you what I'm, uh, what I mean. Here's my liability balances. And this is what it shows me that I owe, which is higher than my report. So I need to change that. Even though I changed my rate um, under list, it's list workers comp list, and then adjust the rate, it didn't change because of the paychecks. The paychecks didn't change. The workers comp rate is based on paychecks. So I need to go do a payroll adjustment. So I'm going to show you how to do that today, how to adjust your workers comp um, to make it to how the rate it should be. This is not to adjust your workers comp, but this is to adjust your payroll liability. In other words, your workers comp liability. So let me go ahead and uh, pull an example. I'm going to go under employees, payroll taxes and liabilities, adjust liabilities. And this is the adjustment liability window. Um, so let me just go pull the number that I need to adjust. Give me one moment. I'm at the payroll summary and here is the workers comp um a line item and i'm going to double click on that workers comp and here are the two paychecks that i need to adjust so i'm going to have date 10 4 and 10 11 um, adjustment to equal the right amount um, so the difference is 5246. That's what I need to adjust for each week. So I'm going to go to employees, payroll taxes and liabilities, adjust employees. Back to my adjustment page. Now I put the date of the payroll, 104. Now company, what that means, and you can use company um, and then select your workers comp. That's just an overall, um, adjustment to what the employer owes you can do company and just do the difference but i'm i want to do by employee so i'm going to select the employee that i want that way when i pull the reports um when i pull the reports the payroll summary that we just saw it'll be by employee otherwise if you do it by company it's just one uh total amount at the end and I just want to see each individual person just get adjusted and that's my personal preference if you have a lot of employees you may not want to do per employee but I only have 10 so I'm just going to do that um, so workers comp and then the difference is I'm going to do a negative because I want to subtract this amount by um, every week if the difference was that I owed more then I would just leave it as a positive, but I owe less of what I had recorded. So I have to do a negative. And that's pretty much, um, you know, what I, I really need. I mean, I could put the base wage and all that under there and then it's not subject to tax. So I don't need to worry about that. Um, I could put a memo. I'm not going to worry about. It. I know that it's a workers comp adjustment, but you can certainly fix, uh, fill all this out. Um, the date, 
and then the effective date should be the date um, as the check affected. So I'm going to click OK, uh, refresh this, and you can already see it. It's right there. It's under his name and the amount is adjusted because his should only have been $67.90. So I'm going to do this for the next paycheck. And um, and then what I want to do is I'm going to do this for all the employees. What I want to do is have my payroll summary balance match my actual uh, liability uh, balance. So once I'm done, we're going to go back and we're going to see if I match after I do every single adjustment. So I have updated and adjusted to the workers comp. So let's take a look at the reports. This is my payroll liability balance, which it now looks like it does match. Here is my amount. Uh, let's look at the workers comp by code and employee. And there's the amount and that matches. And my payroll summary. And here is the workers comp amount and that matches. So everything looks good. Now I can make my payment and I will know for sure that everything matches. So this is what I wanted to show you how to update um, and make workers comp adjustments to your payroll checks. Please, if you like this video, put select thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more how to's tips and tricks and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.